You guys, we have to talk about boots today. I did some damage, 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 damage this past week. And I know I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I don't even have an excuse. But I do have an excuse. Two of them were on sale and one of them was a steal. The other one was full price and I just had to have them. Okay, so at first I was going to start out today by just mentioning one shoe and then I had some other stuff to ramble about. But then, in the middle of the day, I just randomly had like this force. It was like forcing me into Nordstrom's rack. And I'm so glad it did because I found some really really hot boots for this winter and I'm really really picky about boots and so I'm glad I found them because I feel like I kept searching and searching for that perfect boot you know I like the shape and this shape was too skinny and this one was too wide I just get really crazy so I'm, I'm so happy I went today and so we're gonna have to just talk about these shoes right now wait but first the first thing I want to mention a couple little exciting things for one, my sister, because of the sister tag, she finally started her YouTube. And as you see, she's hilarious naturally. Like, she doesn't even know she's hilarious. So make sure you guys go check her out and support her. Her name's Amber's Closet. She was all laughing when I called her Amber's Closet last time. But anyway, so she started her YouTube page. I'll go ahead and link it down below. And um, you guys have to check her out. I think she's going to do mostly, like, vlogs. She's definitely going to do outfits of the day, which is really going to be really fun to see because I love how my sister dresses. She's really tomboy. But then there's times where she can get, like, really girly girls. So I think it's going to be, like, a nice little, you know, a nice little channel to look at and get some inspiration sometimes. And also she's going to do, like, fun things like beautiful girl of the week or month or whatever. She has some really cool ideas that she's going to do. So make sure you check her out. It's Amber's Closet. Second, I was in a music video. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I know. I don't even do music videos, but I did this one. I really liked the song. I love the artist. The artist is just amazing. Her name's Saya. I'll link it down below. It actually came out last week. You can find it on Complex Magazine. I don't know the exact link for that, so I'll definitely link her YouTube so you guys can check out the video. It's I had so much fun doing it. It was just pretty much like just like beauty shots, just like face and stuff like that. But I love this song. It's called Dyke. She breaks it down and actually D Y K E it all stands for something. So make sure you guys check it out. I was really nervous about it, but I actually really liked um, the outcome of it and let me know what you guys think. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's jump into boots. I don't even know which ones to go for. Let me go with my favorite ones first because I just can't help it. Okay. Hello. Let's call her Frida because that's her name. Obviously suede. These are like seven inches tall, you guys. Not a joke. Like, if you are walking on these and one of them catches anything in your path, if you don't buckle your ankles, you're going down all the way. And luckily I have quick reflexes with my ankles, but I almost went down like three times. So if you have weak ankles or you're not very good on heels, these might not be your best friend. But hey, you can practice. There's always practice. They're kind of like a taupe, like a khaki green taupe and gray mixture. It's like a combo. I love these so much. I initially went to Nordstrom in San Francisco actually for the their black all leather ones because I felt like I could put them to good use. But when I went to go try them on, I actually ended up liking the suede ones better because I feel like the actual leather it was, it was like very distressed looking. And in this cut, it almost looked very, um, how do I say it? It was like really funky goth looking. And I like that look, uh, don't get me wrong, but I wanted something I can wear all the time and kind of just add a little accessory to my outfit, not create a whole new look that I rarely do. But I'm glad I got these because I always end up getting black and I needed something like this. I love how it's cut out. It's not a huge wedge, it just is, it gives the illusion that it's a wedge and it actually has a little cut out. It actually is a wedge and that's actually a wedge. But it, it's not because it has like a little, 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 maybe like a, a centimeter cut out. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I love these shoes to death. They're called the Frida. They were $200 at Nordstrom. I love buying from Nordstrom because it's like having insurance on your shoes. Say something breaks, you can always exchange it. Or say after a while they're like killing your foot. You can exchange them even though you wear them. Say you like the other color better. I mean, that's not good to do, but I mean, you can always take them back, even like three years later. Like, actually, I don't like these anymore, and they'll take them back. And so spending $200 at Nordstrom's better than spending $200 somewhere else where they don't really care. After you get them, that's that. Bam. Next boots that I got today from Nordstrom's rack 
love Nordstrom's rack as well. Hello, fringe boot. So it's like a wedge. It doesn't have any platform at all, so it's pretty steep, but they are so cute on. I'm going to try all these shoes on for you at the end. Actually, my girlfriend, Michelle, Bella Michella, she actually got these last week first, and she showed me, and I was like, oh, those are so cute. And I went to Nordstrom's rack today, and I saw them in another color because she already has these. And normally it's weird. Like, if my friends have a shoe that I love or, you know, I love one of their shoes, I'm satisfied with just seeing them wear it. You know, it's almost like you have it, but not really. But you love watching them wear it. So it's like you don't even need to get it. Like, somebody in this group needs this shoe. You know? Who's it going to be? So Sherry had these and I loved them. So I went into Nordstrom's, I saw them in three colors. And so I saw them in gray and I saw them in brown. And I always buy black, so I was thinking, let me just try like the gray. Eh, I didn't like the gray for myself. And then the brown, I actually did like the brown, but I have the, you know, these ones, the Minnetonka brown. So I was like, how many brown fringe can I have? So I just like, let me just try the black just for shits and giggles. All right. So I try them on, I'm like, oh my god, I love them. I needed them for myself, that's how serious they were. You'll see what they look like on when I try them on, but they have like a nice fringe on the side, they're pure suede, they don't have any platform, so they're pretty steep. I'm going to end up putting a gel pad in them to level them out, and I do like the point on them. They have a nice little point. I actually got them in a size bigger because they were that serious, and they didn't have my size, and I had to have these. So these were normally 129 and I got them for 59 So these are a good look this winter. They're so freaking cute. Okay, so these, I have a flat pair of boots. I needed them so bad. I love flat leather boots. I'm so picky with the flat leather boots. I don't like the round, like, boat-looking ones. I don't know. They just don't look good on me. They look good on my friends. They don't look good on me. So I like the more of the combat looking ones. Oh my gosh, you guys look at these. They're leather in the front, suede in the back, and then they have buckles. I'm not really big on too many buckles, but I felt like this was tasteful. You know, when they have like all the buckles up, it's like, calm down with the buckle. You guys are never going to believe how much I got these for. Oh my gosh. Guess. Guess how much I got these for. How much did I get these boots for? $25. Oh my god, I wanted to die when they when I saw obviously they're not real leather, but you can't tell or yeah, obviously they're not real leather, but you can't tell at all. Like it's one of those good faux leathers. It's not even real sweet, but I don't care. Like they're so hot. I would have paid literally $150 for these. I'm not even lying. So when I saw them for $25, I was like, no way. Okay, so these are by doesn't even say who they're by. They're like never said and it doesn't say it on them. I, I don't know you guys, but I'm going to have to figure this out for you. These are $25. Let me try these on for you. all the boots let me know if I can link specific styles or sizes or anything like that oh I forgot to mention these boots are these boots are MIA so either Mia or MIA I'm gonna have to figure out the name of these ones they actually run kind of big I actually got these in a six and a half and I'm a seven and I will find the style for you guys if you guys want me to link it down below these ones these Jeffrey Campbell Frida's Oh yeah, one thing I don't like about them is they don't have a zip, so they're kind of annoying putting them on, especially since they're suede, kind of floppy, and if you have a sock on, it's like, ugh. But whatever, I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Yeah, whatever, I'm going to bite the bullet with those ones because they're so cute, and thank you guys for visiting my closet. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.